Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1737, author and radical liberal philosopher Thomas Paine is born. In 1957, Calcutta, India, now called Kolkata, is restored to British control. In 1775, the British Parliament declares the future U.S. state of Massachusetts to be in open rebellion, sparking the fire of the American Revolution. In 1788, Connecticut becomes the fifth state to be admitted to the United States. In 1793, Jean-Pierre Blanchard becomes the first person to fly in a balloon in the United States. In 1822, Portuguese Prince Pedro I decides to stay in Brazil against the orders of the Portuguese king, which begins the Brazilian independence process. Also in 1822, the American Indian Society is formed. And again in 1822, Haiti invades the newly founded Dominican Republic, right next door. In 1825, in the U.S. presidential election of 1824, no candidate receives the necessary number of electoral votes. So the House of Representatives votes John Quincy Adams to the office on this day. In 1857, the Fort Tihon earthquake, registering an estimated magnitude of 7.9, strikes California. In 1858, Anson Jones, the last president of the Republic of Texas, commits suicide. In 1861, Mississippi becomes the second state to secede from the Union, leading into the American Civil War. In 1870, President Ulysses S. Grant signs a joint resolution of Congress establishing the U.S. Weather Bureau. In 1871, the Federal Fish Protection Office is authorized by the U.S. Congress. In 1878, Umberto I of Italy becomes the King of Italy. In 1880, the Great Gale of 1880 devastates parts of Oregon and Washington with high winds and heavy snow. In 1881, Russian author Fyodor Dostoevsky dies today. In 1885, the first Japanese government-approved immigrants arrive in Hawaii. In 1886, U.S. President Grover Cleveland declares a state of emergency in Seattle because of anti-Chinese violence. In 1889, the United States Department of Agriculture, or the USDA, is established as a cabinet-level agency. In 1895, William G. Morgan creates a game called Mintonet. I'll bet you know it as volleyball. In 1900, the Davis Cup, the premier international team event in men's tennis, is established. In 1903, Hallam Tennyson, son of the poet Alfred Lord Tennyson, becomes the second Governor General of Australia. In 1909, Ernest Shackleton plants the flag of the United Kingdom near the South Pole the farthest south anyone has ever reached at that time. Also in 1909, the first U.S. federal legislation on narcotics prohibits the importation, possession, and use of smoking opium. In 1913, the 10-day tragedy of Mexico City begins. 3,000 people die. In 1914, Pi Beta Sigma, the first black intercollegiate Greek letter fraternity, is officially recognized at Howard University. In 1916, the Battle of Gallipoli concludes with an Ottoman Empire victory. The last Allied forces are evacuated from the peninsula. In 1918, the U.S. Army Chaplain School is founded at Fort Monroe, Virginia. In 1922, snow falls on Mauna Loa, Hawaii. In 1926, Teaching the theory of evolution is forbidden in Atlanta, Georgia schools. In 1927, a fire at the Laurier Palace Theater in Montreal, Quebec, Canada kills 78 children. In 1932, the U.S. competes in the Olympic two-man bobsled competition for the very first time. In 1934, it was negative 14.3 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 25.7 Celsius in New York City. That same day, it was negative 51 degrees Fahrenheit in Vanderbilt, Michigan. In 1940, Joe Lewis beats Arturo Godoy in 15 rounds to win the heavyweight boxing title. In 1941, pro-Jewish Café Alcazar in Amsterdam was famously destroyed because they refused to hang 
No Entry for Jews signs in front of the cafe. In 1942, American singer-songwriter Carole King is born. Also in 1942, United States military leaders hold their first formal meeting to discuss American military strategy for World War II. Another thing in 1942, year-round daylight savings time is reinstated in the United States to help conserve energy for the war effort. In 1943, the Battle of Guadalcanal ended with an Allied victory over Japan. In 1944, American author Alice Walker was born today. In 1945, the HMS Ventura sinks Germany's U-864 off the coast of Fedji, Norway in a rare instance of submarine-to-submarine -submarine combat. In 1947, Elizabeth Betty Short, also known as the Black Dahlia, is last seen alive. In 1950, U.S. Senator Joseph McCarthy launches his anti-communist campaign. In 1951, the Korean War's Gyochang Massacre occurs. 719 unarmed South Koreans, including 385 children, are massacred by their own South Korean army. Also in 1951, the St. Louis Browns signed pitcher Satchel Paige. In 1955, U.S. Federations of Trade Unions merge into the AFL-CIO. In 1956, it was negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20.6 degrees Celsius in Sicily. In 1957, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom resigns from office following his failure to retake the Suez Canal from Egyptian sovereignty. In 1959, the Soviet R-7 Simyorka, with a range of 5,500 miles, becomes the first intercontinental ballistic missile. In 1960, Egypt begins construction on the Aswan Dam by detonating 10 tons of dynamite on the east bank of the Nile. In 1961, the Beatles play their first gig at Liverpool's Cavern Club. They would play there nearly 300 times over the next two years. In 1963, today was the seventh largest snowfall in New York City history. They received nearly 17 inches. In 1964, the Beatles first appear on The Ed Sullivan Show, attracting 73 million viewers beginning the British music invasion. In 1965, the first United States combat troops are sent to South Vietnam. In 1968, a rare three-way tie for silver occurs in the women's 500-meter speed skating event at the Grenoble Winter Olympics. In 1969, the Boeing 747 takes flight for the first time. In 1971, Apollo 14 returns to Earth after the third manned moon landing. Also in 1971, Satchel Paige, we heard about him earlier, becomes the first Negro League player to be voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1975, the Soyuz 17 Soviet spacecraft returns to Earth. In 1979, Walter Hill's drama The Warriors is released in the United States, sparking gang violence at many theaters and causing the studio to stop the film's marketing campaign. In 1980, Rick Barry of Houston is the first player in NBA history to score eight three-pointers in a game. In 1981, singer-songwriter Bill Haley passes away today. In 1984, Soviet Premier Yuri Andropov died. Konstantin Chernenko replaces him. In 1985, Madonna's album Like a Virgin goes number one and stays for three weeks. In 1986, Halley's Comet reaches the 30th perihelion which is the closest approach to the sun. In 1987, the New York Stock Exchange finally installs a ladies' restroom in the Exchange Luncheon Club. In 1990, the Bradys, you know, the ones with the lovely lady, return to TV for six episodes on CBS. In 1991, voters in Lithuania vote for independence from the Soviet Union. Also in 1991, Representatives from the United States and Iraq meet at the Geneva Peace Conference to try to find a peaceful resolution to the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. In 1995, astronauts Bernard A. Harris Jr. and Michael Foley become the first African American and Brit to perform spacewalks outside of the space shuttle. Also in 1995, the Irish music and dance show Riverdance first opens in Dublin, Ireland, led by Michael Flatley. In 1996, the IRA ends an 18-month ceasefire 
by exploding a bomb in London's Canary Wharf. Also in 1996, German physicist Peter Armbruster first synthesized copernicium, which is chemical element number 112 on the periodic table. In 1997, the Fox cartoon series The Simpsons airs its 167th episode, making it the longest-running animated series in cartoon history. In 1998, at the 6th ESPY Awards, Ken Griffey Jr. and Mia Hamm win. In 2001, the American submarine USS Greenville accidentally strikes and sinks a Japanese training vessel operated by the Iwo Jima Fishery High School. In 2002, Queen Elizabeth II's younger sister, Princess Margaret, dies in London today. In 2006, Al Michaels joins John Madden on NBC's Sunday Night Football. In 2007, Apple CEO Steve Jobs unveils the first iPhone. In 2011, Iran Air Flight 277 crashes in the northeast of the country, killing 77 people. Also in 2011, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday album reaches number one on the Billboard 200. In 2014, Australian National University scientists discover the oldest known star at 13.6 billion years old. Also in 2014, the slope-style snowboarding event makes its Olympic debut at the Sochi Winter Games. In 2016, in the New Hampshire presidential primary, Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders win over John Kasich and Hillary Clinton easily. In 2018, the 23rd Olympic Winter Games open in Pyeongchang, South Korea. In 2020, a British Airways Boeing 747-436 flies from New York to London in 4 hours and 56 minutes, achieving speeds of 1,327 kilometers per hour or 825 miles per hour. Also in 2020, as of today, deaths from COVID-19 hit 813 worldwide with more than 34,800 known infections. In 2020 as well, the 92nd Academy Awards air. Parasite is the first non-English film to win Best Picture. Best Actor goes to Joaquin Phoenix and Best Actress goes to Renee Zellweger. In 2021, the World Health Organization team investigating the origin of COVID-19 in Wuhan, China, say it is extremely unlikely that it leaked from a local research lab. Also in 2021, the U.S. Senate impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump begins in Washington, D.C. I hope you liked my video, and I hope you go find some of my others. Oh, wait a minute. I put some right in front of you. You don't have to worry about it. You can go ahead and watch them.